Uh, hello everyone, we're back with some fake grand order with last spot number four, Yuga Kestra. But first, there's something important to do. We have six courts! You know what that means. Is the Super Orion banner still up? I don't really care about a stall fall. Yeah, okay. I mean, I kind of. I wouldn't mind Europa, but. Is the song playing twice? No, okay, I guess not. It just sounded like this song was playing, like, slightly echoing. Okay, craft essence. You know, maybe this one's rigged. Maybe we should go go to this one. No, I'd get MP2 Achilles. I know, I know how that would end. <laughs> I mean, which wouldn't be bad. Like he's really good, especially if I ever got Scuddy. Like that will ever happen. Oh. Oh, my dear fighter, come on! No, I don't think I have him yet. Sweet. Hey, right? I don't have him yet. Right? Yeah. Okay. I'll happily take that. I mean, I, I think he's just in the regular summon pool, right? So it's not. I'd get him eventually, but. <coughs> Sorry. You there? Oh no, he's shy. He's shy. There he is. Wait, is he actually shy? I know nothing about. I just know people like him. Yeah, so I haven't actually started the event yet. It just came out today. So, yeah, it, we're halfway into the chapter because it, it's a very long chapter. Last last episode was like thirty minutes, right? And it's like you know, a little less than halfway. I think we're going to end up doing two cycles. Well, I guess three, technically. Because I don't know if we're going to... Still got a lot to do. Picking up a life form nearby. A human. Still some distance to your destination, so they may be a traveler. You never have too much information. Let's go say hello. Hello, eyeless man. Huh? Never seen any of you before. Hi there. Would you mind if we asked you a few questions? You're headed for the town nearby? Don't bother. Where are you? I just turn around and go back where I came from. Huh? What is that? There's a real nasty disease going around in that town. I was just heading there myself to look for a new job. Once I heard about it, turned right around. They already killed a number of people by the time I heard about it. I'd be dead bodies everywhere by now. The plague? That's... Assuming it has to do with this Clepius. Alright, I... I'll better get going. Don't say I didn't warn you. We got prayers in the sacred beast to help us with the Kali. We can't pray away a disease. You only get one life. Gotta make the most of it. Prayers in the sacred beast, huh? Those don't actually do that much to help. I need to sneeze, but I can't. Oh. Oh. <coughs> there it is! I did it, guys! What do we do now? I can't believe I forgot to ask about something so basic. Tell me, technical advisor. Am I right to assume we're all fully inoculated against the various pathogens we expect to encounter in our travels? Well, you're in, you're in the tank. You bet we I mean, I guess we, we have to come back eventually. Think about all the places we've already been to. We're covered as far as just about any plague around goes. Around goes. That's in his read word. Of course, Horsey's already pretty well set thanks to his innate poison resistance, so the vaccinations are more for peace of mind than anything else. I forgot about that. I mean, I guess it was just mentioned in Last Ball 3, but... In case you're still concerned, Doc, Director, we could always have the servants go on ahead and collect more detailed data about this virus before... Let's just keep going. Understood. The new continue as planned. Just make sure you don't touch anything strange, alright? Do you have enough masks and gloves? No, you're not supposed to share them, right? So, look, I couldn't make some COVID joke, but, you know, we're above that at this point. We get it, we get it. Jeez, you sound like my mom. 
Just so you know, the border isn't exactly bursting at the seams with vaccine doses and such. So be prepared for the possibility you might not be able to save everyone in this town. They look, they're all happy. He has a mustache. Huh? Wolfo? It's a perfectly ordinary town. Certainly, certainly doesn't look like there's a plague going around. Does this mean that other guy was lying? That's not the impression I got from him. Excuse me, do you have a moment? What do you want? We we're told there's a deadly plague going around this town. Is that true? <laughs> Whoever told you that must have been way beyond the times. Sure, we did have a scare like that recently. People were collapsing left and right. Some of them died of fever. People treating them kept catching it. We thought that God had forsaken us and this town was done for. I got better and with it myself until not too long ago. So there was a plague going around here. But now it's all over? Yep. Just when things were at their worst, a doctor showed up and saved us all. I don't know what we would have done without him. I had to quarantine myself so my wife and kid wouldn't catch it. So at first I thought like maybe this was like as clever as gets them sick so he can cure them so he can get them sick again so he can cure them, but no. He actually just helped them out, he's a nice guy. I don't even know if I'd ever get to see them again. <laughs> now we're all one big happy family again. That doctor is our savior, no doubt about it. We offered him a home here and told him he'd never want for anything if he stayed with us. But he just took off. Would not accept anything in return? Picture of modesty he was. All he said was, I just stopped by to check on things. This isn't the fundamental solution this world needs. Wondering what he meant by that. He did look really stressed out about something, even after saving us. Anywho, well anyway, no, this this kind of guy says anywho, look at that mustache. Things are perfectly fine here now, so relax and enjoy your stay. Trust me, it's a great place. Oh, my mic's tilted the wrong way. The keyboard. I just push my keyboard. Oh, oh. Hold on. If my voice is a little bit quiet, it's because my microphone wasn't facing me. Mysterious heroic doctor. Devinci, can we quickly go over what you know about Asclepius again? Wait. Is this? Oh, my pop filter won't stay right. There we go. I I don't think I can comment on that yet. <laughs> sure thing. There's all sorts of casters. Mages, witches, alchemists, beautiful inventors whose genius knows no bounds. And this is in Asclepius' case, given his title and background, he's definitely a doctor. I knew it. Master, this might mean we were right all after all. Maybe you'll be willing to join us. Hey, he's only pretending to obey Arjuna. But deep down he knows this world is wrong and can't bear to see people in need. Maybe we can convince him to... My, My microphone tilted over. Ah! <laughs> Kill me. Oh, oh, I got it. Okay, I got We're good, we're good. I don't know what you guys have been hearing, but you should have your answer to that directly. Here he comes. He doesn't appear to be going on the offensive, but keep your guard up all the same. What the? What's going on here? There he is. Even if we did come here looking for him, wasn't expecting to find him this quickly. Must have some very good karma indeed, Master. This is perfect. We're all just hoping to talk to you, Asclepius. Are you the one who... Shut up been saving this town for my experiments. It's practically my exam room, and I won't tolerate patients worth less than used to Is it gays or gods? Speaking out of turn in here, patients should only speak when spoken to. This is your doing? How did you heal all the infected when I didn't lift a finger to help them? Okay, okay. Huh? My, my. Guess you're not the good doctor you've been hearing about after all. Of course not. I was just about to study this plague. Why would I bring anything that could cure it? Ah, idiots. Medicine is advanced by studying new diseases as they progress. I thought with a plague in town, I would at least have no shortage of cases. And now you're telling me there's not a single infected person left? It can't be serious. 
I don't know who you are, but you have some nerve taking away my precious research opportunity. He sounds like a self-centered sociopath. I'm guessing you definitely never stand point that one of the int. Everything else be danged, part of my French. Huh. I don't know what you mean by the second part, but I agree wholeheartedly with the first. Just answer me this. Did you spread this plague here yourself? Huh? What are you stupid? What useless mush do you have festering between your ears? Why would anyone ever do that? Of course I want to advance medicine by studying as many cases of disease as possible, but the point is to cure patients, not create new ones. Mean that as it may, it seems you don't do anything to limit the disease's spread either. Because I knew I couldn't. I don't waste my time with pointless endeavors. It's far more sensible to make a vaccine after studying the disease. Even if more people end up dying in the meantime? Yes, that is undeniably tragic. But as long as they die while I'm studying them, they serve to advance medicine. I stake my pride as a doctor on never letting a patient die for nothing. I'll always make sure their death leads to a new discovery. And eventually, to advancing medicine as a whole. Sounds nice and all, but the guy is oozing mad scientist vibes. Mad scientist role? Holy Koba! I don't think we can hope for much from him. He didn't heal this town, and he isn't anything like Nijah either. Uh huh, I see. So that's your game. You thought that deep down I might be dissatisfied with the way that god runs things here, like that, just like Nijah was? I take it that means you aren't, then? Of course not. Excusing all that is defective or unnecessary from the world, that's all things ought to be done. It's immeasurably better than a weak, foolish guy getting rid of exceptional things. You know what happened to me? Do you have any idea what Zeus put me through? Oh, well, okay, you know. I've heard stories. All I ever wanted was to advance the field of medicine. All I did was find a way to cure death. But the Greek gods are too narrow-minded, lazy, cowardly, and arrogant to accept that. They are wrong, and they punish me for all their wrong reasons. They punish me for nothing more than achieving excellence. Nah, now I see. But this world is the complete opposite of that. All that is excellent endures. All that is inferior disappears. Could it be simpler? This is exactly how things are meant to be. This is just what a this is what a just world looks like. What is it? What is it you want when that world reaches its end state? Aren't you listening to me? All I want is to advance my medical arts. That I made that clear. So you don't care what the world loses as long as it helps you with that? Huh? As long as mankind doesn't go extinct, people will always need doctors, right? So don't worry about that. There will always be people around. I'm willing to rack up as many sacrifices as it takes to ensure my patient's survival, no matter the cost. He's like the anti-Nightingale. Master, my favorite is Clepius's. Yeah, something's fundamentally wrong with him. Medicine is important, but you cannot ignore how people feel. You may be an excellent doctor, but you've completely failed to treat these people's cries of grief. I'm no counselor. There's some conditions I can't do a dang thing about. Like stupidity, oh, that's a good one. Uh, there's nothing I hate more than stupid patients. All you have to do is listen. If your doctor says not to do something, don't do it. They say to do something, do it. Why is it that so hard for you to understand? Don't you want to get better? Doesn't make any dang sense. It's just like I thought. It's the most effective part. If you patients are so soft in the head that you're trying to get rid of this just world, then it's clear which part of you I need to amputate. It's a fight he wants, is it? Get him, horsey. Don't be afraid. It's only a caster. Just doctor at that. Is it just a doctor at that? Or I'm assuming because he's been using the word just like that, they mixed it up. Just a okay, yeah, it's a typo. Have you forgotten that Arjuna made me a Lokapala, granted me one of his divinities? The Indian god he bestowed upon me. Is Yama. Yama? It's the god of death, king of the dead, and region of the south. I started seeing new hostiles appearing out of the ground, one after the other. They appear to be moving skeletons. Guess Arjuna thought Yama would suit me, since they already managed to resurrect the dead on my own. Well, as long as it's not Hades, I can get along with another god of the underworld. I have no qualms about using what I've been given. Yama wields authority over the dead. Well, technically, maybe the authority over this land's memory of the dead. There's no meaningful difference. Uh, 
great. So now we've got to play some kind of horde mode with zombies. I don't think we'll be able to feel it unless we've got some special attacks with invincibility and massive AoE. I gotcha. The heck? You summoned that many fighters that quickly? Not any preparation or chanting? What kind of necromancy is that? This is clearly outside the realm of human ragecraft. This is divine power. Just like Kubera let Nija use so many noble phantasms at once. Be very careful. Got it. Even idiots like you know about autopsies, yes? The dead can still be valuable in medicine. You're all probably going to die here, not that you're up against me. But don't you feel better knowing your deaths will be useful? Okay. We make a team. So, what she said invincibility, is it because they're hard hitting? Or did she mean ignore invincibility? Because Edmund does that. An AoE, invincibility. Kind of, sort of, invincibility. Switch flat out. Like the, the bond is nice. Well, actually. But no, he's a, he's a caster. So, probably not cuddled on. So, can we, we can fit a 5 star, I think. So, Kiara? Does she have it? She has an invincibility. That, yeah, yeah, her third skill, right? Yeah, okay. That works for me. Okay, so... Okay, let's stay on top of first thing, then ramble. Oh, uh, let me take a drink of water. Last episode ended with uh, Ash, Ash uh talking about you know his his god. With my very limited knowledge of uh, Hinduism, where like just Indian mythology slash history, you, know, you get what I mean. You know, obviously Hinduism is still practiced today. So calling it mythology might not be the correct term. You you get what I mean. But uh so Ash Ashvataman is the avatar or something similar I don't know the correct wordage for it, of uh Shiva. So I'm wondering if if his the divinity that uh, you know Arjuna gave him is Shiva or something else. I will see, I guess. Anyway, uh, I'll continue where I left off yesterday. Uh, I guess I'll start with things going on in your life and talk about the Maharaja obviously podcast I've been listening to. Which I've been listening to it. I'm almost done with it. Uh, my CPU, well, I believe it's my CPU fan has been very loud sometimes. So I'm going to be replacing that. Today, actually, is when the package gets here. I've never actually uh, replaced a PC part before. Like, I, I, I had my PC built for me. I didn't, like, do it myself. It's a little scary, but I think I got it. And also, ordering the CPU fan, which I hope is the fan that's malfunctioning. I'm pretty sure, like, I opened it up, I looked, I was like, okay, I think it's this one. Because, like, it sounds like a, like a car starting. Like it's that loud. It happens sometimes in gameplay if I like just play, like you know, intensive stuff. So I turned all my settings down on like Final Fantasy and stuff just because, you know, don't want that happening. But it made me start wanting to the uh, like, you know, start upgrading my PC because it, it, it's getting old. Obviously, like a new GPU would be nice, but <laughs> like that will never happen. Like, I looked at my GPU, it was uh, $200 back in like 2015, and now it is more expensive than that. <laughs> this is my current one, it's like 5 or 6 years old now. It's, it's pretty dated, I could definitely use a new one. I don't need like, you know, a top of the line one, but just, you know, slightly better one that doesn't cost $1,000 would be nice. <laughs> Besides that though, I... I want an SSD. As I understand, they just drastically improve load times. Also, like a second hard drive would just be nice too because I only have the one hard drive, and it it is a little faulty. It's uh, I I believe it's the hard drive. My computer's crashed a couple times, and I've lost data. Well, I haven't actually lost data in like four years. 
It happened three or four years ago. It never happened again. I, sp I recorded an episode of uh, Fate X Stella, and that's why Fate X Stella will never have a... Well, maybe I'll play it eventually. I played the narrowing out on my own on the PS Vita. Uh, yeah, I actually lost a Grand Order video to it. I remember the uh, in Camelot. It was uh, the Gawain fight. Yeah. If we go back, go to the Gawain fight, you'll see that I had to skip over it. Also, he just kind of died. This is quick. Oh, we don't have to kill his this dude. Like I, I just kind of hope killing him kills, you know, ends the battle. Uh, yes. Well, maybe. Hold on. Dang it. Yeah, anyway, so I've been continuing to listen to the podcast by some guy. I don't know his name. About. The, I still can't pronounce it. Maharabata? I'm, I'm saying it wrong. The the B screws me up. Uh, but anyway, I, I'm being pretty close to being finished with it. I'm on the 17th day of the war. There's 18 days in the war. And then, you know, there's still more after. Technically, I think there's like seven more books. But according to the length of the podcast, those books are very short. I believe it's a 14 book epic 16 18 somewhere around there I don't know how we can thank you if curing our disease wasn't enough you've intended our fields for us I believe I'm like right before the Karna versus Arjuna fight are you a new local Paula you must be to show us this much kindness please stay with us the whole town would be thrilled to have you Shh. hmm sorry my throat's been acting up for a bit pay it no mind I just stopped by to check on things. This isn't the fundamental solution this loss this world needs. It's the ones who will show up after me who are bound to end you. They're from an organization called Caldea, just as I am. Make sure to welcome them when they get here. I'll speed things up. Okay, but it isn't um Caldea we want to thank. It's you. Please, won't you stay with us for just a little while? We'd be honored. Delighted, even, to repay someone so fair choice. Yes, exactly. Please hear it this way. Everyone's dying to hear more about you. They really mean it. These people can't have much to spare. They still want to reward an outsider. Never mind that. Why do they like me at all? This sort of thing would have never happened before. Not doing anything different than I was before. Still operating under the exact same principles I always have. So why am I seeing such a different reaction now? Uh, so I believe I know who this is, but uh... Is it only because of what I look like? Do people really care about appearances that much? Oh well. That... If that is true, typo, it suits my needs perfectly. So I imagine at the time, people had a very good guess at it, as to what that was, but as I have future knowledge, it's one of the big things I know. One AP. Is it? Is this a one fourth cast? Yeah. Huh. I've never seen that before. Yes, I do know what this fight is ahead of time. I I did look up at the battles for this chapter just because it's so long. I wanted to you know prepare in advance. I did actually read the text on this one. I, I don't actually know what, uh, I guess, Kleppis' abilities actually did. Like, spawn new things and heal. But this one is it's a fake battle. They just keep coming no matter how many we take down. Wait, what's that? Random child with eyes! Stuff! It's a kid! Most of the times there's been hit after you started fighting. He must have been left behind. Get, get out of here, it's not safe. Ah, uh, oh, stupid kid! Why do you have to trip? Can't be tripped. These two fire away, do, huh? What's wrong? You fell down. Hmm. Your knee is injured. Let me see it. Yeah. 
So you cut it on her yak. Even in the middle of town, the girls really need more work. That's why I fall that speed can produce lacerations like this. Now I see. I have to remember the size and depth of his wound so I can comprehend similar situations in the future just at a glance. As for your wound, there's nothing unusually wrong with it. To treat it, first we wash it with clean water. Then we apply some of these medicinal herbs. Stop bleeding anymore. Of course not. I just stopped it. Now listen to me. Don't take that off until the pain is all gone. Doctor's orders. If you can't listen to them, that will mean your thick skull is the real problem. Don't make me give up on you. I won't, I promise. Thank you, God. Thanks, God. That's a good patient. Take care. What? What the heck, guy? One of those gruff, curmudgeonly doctors who hides his heart cold beneath his prickly exterior? What are you talking about? I heal those who need healing and show no mercy to those who would interfere with my medicinal pursuits. That's all there is to it. Couldn't be simpler. That dedication is not a bad thing in itself. But why do you insist on prioritizing that over all else? How can you be so casually dismiss everything else young with this world, or the suffering of its people? You're asking my reasons? That's a new one. They're so blindingly obvious that I don't even have an answer ready. To tell you that, I'd have to pay attention to things I usually ignore, bring my thinking down to the level of my most idiotic of patients. This guy is kind of condescending, huh? Never mind, there's no point. I'm just going to keep working on kicking you interlopers, interlopers out of the, my exam room. First you help a child, and now you're back to raising the dead. Which are you looking for? Praise or revulsion? Both, please. I have no need for either. Now will you stop acting up? You're the very worst sort of patient, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many dead you throw at us. We can defeat a great Rakshasa. I can defeat you too. It never fails. It's always the most ing ignorant patients who make things worse. You should simply have resigned yourself to assisting me in my study of medicine. Now this has taken long enough that he's shown up. Question mark? Who could it be? Sorry, drink of water while the alarm goes off. I'll explain later. All of you cease combat and get away from there immediately. I knew this was a possibility, but I didn't think it would actually happen now. By this, I mean the worst gosh darn case scenario we can think of. Talk about luck not being on our side. Master, over there in the sky, it's... It's a bird? It's a plane? No, it's... A spaceship. It's Arjuna! What? Then he spent his time flying around the tree of emptiness. I swear, there's nothing worse than amateurish... Amateurish... Home remedies. This kind of power... And Vimana's mobility, there's no need for him to stand around guarding that tree. Especially now that no one besides him can even get close to it, thanks to that ocean growing bigger. The only reason he usually stays there is because he simply has no need to go anywhere else. Which of course means that if he does have a need to go somewhere else, he will. Of course in this particular case, he only knows because I informed him when I found you, as he ordered me to. He's actually taken a rare interest in you. Got it surrounded. Da, da, da. So, you're the sole god of this world. The one they say absorbed every other divinity in India. So, you are a god too. Uh, but you're a tiny, insignificant one. Shut up. You're nothing but a shadow of a once great hero. Sorry. Don't you dare compare me to your stolen divinities. Your insolence is unforgivable. And release every god you have within you. Immediately. Couldn't agree more. Sure you have a divinity linked up to this world, Sita. <laughs> I'm not letting you get away. Okay, but maybe you can not let him get away later? If not, don't you guys you don't stand a chance against him yet? But I'm pretty sure we told you to get out of there. Did you not hear us or something? Oh, we already just fine. It's not that simple. I don't think we can avoid combat at this point. Yeah, we already spent our 1 AP. We'll get through this. Somehow. Can't let our mission end here. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I've been listening to the podcast. 
on the seventeenth day of the war, I already said that. Uh, it's episode like what, like seventy eight? There's one hundred episodes total, exactly. I cut it because there's a loud noise. No reason to reach God. Pepe's back. My <laughs> base. Thanks, <laughs> thanks, Pepe. Okay, so I did look it up. Uh, nothing we do actually matters here. Can't kill him, and he doesn't attack until he uses his noble phantasm. Yeah. So just end this as quickly as possible. There's one more battle after this where... Uh, well, I won't spoil it. Yeah, there's not actually a lot to say about it. I wonder if... Uh, Krishna is ever going to be mentioned. I wonder if he gave his divinity to, to someone. He's like probably the most major figure in the, well, the most major god in the Mahayavada. If I'm saying it right, I'm not. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I don't have anything in insightful to say about it because <laughs> I've absorbed very little of it. I, I'm bad at at absorbing information from like uh from audio, I guess. I have a much better time if I like read it, especially when it comes to names. Yeah, that 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 hit for a bit of damage, just a bit. I believe I saw forty four thousand in there, and that was just one hit of a multi hit attack. Hi, Kiara. Does that give us bond? Yeah, it does. Huh. <laughs> Almost 2,000 bond for getting blown up. You did get out of bed. A blink out of sheer boredom. Where is this, Arjuna? The infinitesimal span of that blink. I had a dream. How unusual. It was a dream about a foolish war. A war that started for laughable reasons, persisted in absurdity, and ended in trivialities. There's something there. Something within my memories fighting alongside my beloved friends and brothers. Okay, so this is Arjuna. Wanting nothing more than to grant their wishes, my arrows found their way into every one of their, our hated enemies. I fought earnestly, with no shame, proud to be counted among my brothers' ranks. No spoilers, please. I'm I'm almost at the end. Even so, something nagged at me deep within my heart. Something dark and wriggling. As I grow bored of even that, I open my eyes. Once the darkness fades away, I forget that I ever dreamed at all. God has no need of dreams. Order next output. Shopping. Systems overloading. Wait, please, I'm not done for it yet. Oh, she's dead. You guy! I can't afford to lose. If I can't protect Horse again, his companions, then who? <sighs> oh man, oh man, I guess it wasn't good enough after all. Even though Carter asked me to take over for him, I just can't. Dang it. I guess I failed. Yet again. Well, was this a satisfying diversion? No. I am just disappointed. Shut up, Xenos. These people survived my reconstruction. I thought maybe they were special. But... They were not worth verifying. Although, what did I verify? I feel no need to understand. Hey, first you had me call you, now you're just up and leaving? What do you want me to do with them? I no longer care. Messing things up and capriciously leaving as soon as he gets bored, huh? He's a god, alright. 
This doesn't mean they can do whatever I want with them. This dude didn't obliterate them with a divine punishment. Okay then. I'm tearing up and end this already. So I can get back to my research. Hey! 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 Snake! 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 Are you serious? None of you can even move? Pepe, save us! Yes, there wasn't any point in choosing after y'all. I knew I was a hopeless dead end. Thanks to my hero Jinsu, the only power I was born with. Couldn't help but be enlightened about that. So I never needed to lie to myself. Don't even need to remember when it began, because I always knew from the start. My life has no value. Just a pitiful jester, born to a pitiful world. So then, why did I make that choice? I like this song, by the way. Why was I holding on so hard? <laughs> right. Of course. It's because if I die here and now, and if nothing else, these feelings won't have been worthless. They won't be erased. In that case, maybe this is an end I can accept. <gasps> ah! The spooky sound effect. Okay, who's saving us? What the? My specimens! Surprise, this place has turned out to be a land of the dead. Or did I just pick an odd time to visit? Who it? Uh. I, I have no idea. Oh! What? What? <laughs> what in the world? What are you doing here, David? Uh, okay! Oh, uh, wow. I, uh. Did not expect him to show up. That's, uh, unexpected. I, I, like, didn't know we knew anything about him. Except from, like, you know, the round table. I thought, you know, he'd just be chilling. The Cryptor? David Semvoid. The Cryptor with the most talent of them all. I thought he was off raising another lost belt. And what's that? Is that a servant? Oh, really? What? Oh. The miasma around them is too strong for us to properly observe them. I was just able to get an idea of their scale. It's a grand servant. Oh, there's no doubt about it. David somehow formed a contract with a grand servant. What is this about? Who are you and what is... Huh. Yama, also known as Yama Ten, passing judgment on the dead. What a joke. Death is meant to be eaten. Life is meant to be sacrificed. Giving the dead freedom will never pass in my world. What to? What class did he summon? So I consumed them, but they tasted terrible. Proves they haven't been eating anything decent. Try to stay behind me. Remember, this isn't your land. Didn't that anyone ever teach you not to drink the tap water when you travel? Good point. I'll be careful. It says we didn't come here for the food. David's in South America, so... I mean, I can't think of any South American mythological heroes. Nonetheless, you know, one who would qualify as a grand servant. David... Not even looking this way. Why did he save us? Why are you here? How are you here? You can just show up and surprise me like this. You don't have any time to prepare. My hair is a mess. Oh gosh, you gotta give me some warning. Should I have waited? You look like you were in trouble, so I thought I would help. I mean, don't get me wrong. You definitely saved my life, and I appreciate it. Seriously, what are you doing here in India? Came because of the way you were behaving at our last meeting. I wasn't sure if it was because things were going well or poorly for you, but I found it strange that you didn't say anything about how things were going in your lost belt. We may have an agreement not to interfere with each other's lost belts. There are no rules against making personal contact. 
acted on intuition rather than logic, then only because I consider you a friend. Was I out of line? Oh, no, not at all. It's just, this is the last boat, you know? You can't just walk in and out of them, right? We can't, no. But fortunately, we know someone who can. <laughs> Hello! With its kidnapping assassinations and coup d'etats, NFF Services is ready and willing to assist. Didn't she have, like, a thing covering her face last time? That said, I was pretty preoccupied with my own affairs, so I was hoping I wouldn't answer any sudden business calls for a while. But, you know, there aren't many people like David around yet, so that it'd be worthwhile to have him owe me a little favor without the foreign guy getting in the way. Koyanskaya! Off it doesn't worry, see. Not so long time we'll see. Oh, don't worry, I'm just doing my best to torment the humans here just as much as you'd expect. But, until Arjuna gets a little farther away from you, I can't really have as much fun as I'd like. Let's just say I don't want to draw too much of his attention right now by doing as I please. So in the meantime, just thinking of me as a beautiful tour conductor keeping a silent but watchful eye on a group of students on a field trip, and don't make me much mind, right? Well, is that it? Now this would be a good chance to ascertain the extent of this woman's abilities. They did not come cheap, but you needn't worry about that. What's with this glove thing? Anyway, what happened to you? Your servant is nowhere to be seen, and you're fighting alongside our enemy. It was worth the few minutes it took to see this for myself, but I can't imagine how you got to this point. It's because I can't go along with this god, the core of this Indian Lost Belt, or the way he does things. <coughs> Sorry. But I couldn't criticize him in front of Krishtari, since one of the foreign god's alter ego disciples is involved. Why can't you go along with him? His way of doing things may be unusual, but his logic appears sound. Mm. Is it a matter of taste? Lifestyle, aesthetics, principle, that sort of thing? I guess to put it another way, it's because of who I am. So you haven't turned your back on the cryptos then? In that case, there's no problem. Of course not. Never abandon you guys. But I can't abandon these kids either. Now that things have come to this, planning on helping them out until this is over, one way or the other. That shouldn't be a problem, right? I see. You're a good man, Yo Genji. Well, that's not Scandinavia. You really know how to take care of people. Eee! Yo, Genji? Can you defeat this god? Uh, you're already moving past it like it never happened. Anyway, I'm trying, but honestly, it's a real challenge. I mean, he's pretty much a perfect being. I don't suppose you have any advice for me, do you? So you're up against a perfect god, huh? Hmm. No, I don't have any advice. The more godlike a god is, the stronger they are. It's pointless to even try to fight a perfected god. Tell me something I don't know. You should change your plan of attack. You can't take something away from someone who has nothing. You can always take something away from someone who has everything. Just take all his gods away. You saying I should try to slow him down? I have to go now. Guess we didn't have much time to celebrate our reunion. Don't tell Waldo about this. I may not have violated the agreement. It still doesn't look good. Oh, are you headed back now? Thanks for traveling with NFF. Okay, everyone. Hope you don't mind if we step out for now. Don't worry, I'll be coming back very shortly. That was extremely random. Did you just look right at me before he left? Christ on a cracker! Is that a thing? Between the other crypto and that mink showing up out of nowhere, it's been one thing after another. Never mind that now. You there, field team! I trust you can move now. Of course, that about is more than enough time to get out of that predicament. Master, Arjuna has left. There are fewer dead now, and the crypto is gone. I even have no idea. Pepe's real name now. Oh, Fio. So I thought he might have a. I want to say that's a Japanese name. But I was like, wait, am I mixing him up with a JoJo's character? Because it's literally a JoJo character, right? Like, Jorno? That's not his real name, right? Does, isn't he actually, like, Japanese? I don't know what you're talking about. I just forget you heard anything. We have bigger fish to fry right now. I feel much better. There's just something about a sudden stroke of luck that puts you in a good mood. Alrighty, let's strike back while the iron's hot. A sudden stroke of luck, huh? Just help us not a prelude to a greater stroke of bad luck. 
Either way, it looks like I'll have to put it out of my mind for now. We're next to the yeah yeah. I'll put these day yeah yeah. It's not on. Slipius appears to be reeling from David's surprise attack. Now's our chance, Master. Let go. It's another Sclepius fight. Spoiler. What? Come on. We're taking Skippy. Yep, I uh, didn't prepare anything else to talk about. I thought I'd have more coverage. I guess Endwalker's been fun. Get my second class to 90. I get technically third. Uh, Scholar, which also raises another class with it, Summoner, which they rework Summoner in Final Fantasy XIV. It's so much fun now. Well, I say that because it's very easy. <laughs> I'm bad at playing DPS classes. I think they actually did something. What a surprise. Remember that game a little? Also, we don't have quick down anymore. That's convenient for Edmund. Is that due to the Yuga cycle or? This is my assumption. Is it going to one shot everything? Hope so. Yeah, I'm just kind of patiently waiting for the Endwalker Raids to come out. So, next week the normal mode comes out, and two weeks after that is Savage. So, three weeks really. Mostly just leveling and uh, doing some of the, the trials in the meantime. So, the trials are basically one-off boss fights. Uh, you can get a rare mount from them. It's a rare job, or you can do them 99 times and guarantee to get it. I've never really bothered farming them in the past, but I, I'm thinking this time around for Endwalker, maybe I'll do them all. Because if you get all the mounts in an expansion, you get like a super mount. Which, I mean, it's a cool concept, I like it. But usually I'm like, okay, I'm going to grind this one, and then I get to like maybe 30 out of 99. I'm like, okay, I never want to do this again. <laughs> Back in Shadowbringers, I only actually got one of the mounts out of seven? I, I want to say seven. And that was like just a couple months ago. This is the very first one. Which, you know, made it easier to get. But, you know, given there's nothing else to do. Now it's like, you know, it's a good time to work towards it. We'll see if I, you know, actually stick around for it, though. Okay, uh... Summon two guys. Defense down. He has all that mist on him. Maybe he already has too many. I don't think this will kill him, but we'll see. I was not expecting David to show up there. <laughs> I already said that, but that was uh shocking to say the least. Like I don't know what what's up with that guy. I there's probably a connection to the uh I believe David Blue Book is his name. Who knows aliens? I, look, I don't know. If I read, if I played Fate X style, I'd probably know a bit more about that. Maybe I don't know if that's related or not. I know that game has aliens. And Nero wears like a really lewd costume to defeat them. And I believe Excalibur is an actually an anti-alien weapon the whole time. <laughs> don't quote me on that, but I mean, come on, it sounds real. Well, it sounds fake, which makes it sound real because it's the Nasu race. That defense up is annoying. Uh, do I have a boost for his normal pain doesn't? Oh, he's dead. Well, guess who you just brought out? 
Okay, okay, okay. We got... Get this. We should save this in case this doesn't finish them all off so we can dispel debuffs. Because that's very useful. I just realized I have her in her non-outfit, but in the cards she's in her uh, not non-outfit. I should, I should fix that. Maybe I should set it her random outfit. You know, I like you know the crazy look, but also the nun looks like you know that's she almost looks normal. Oh, he got his noble phantasm off. What is? It's probably a heel, right? Hopefully. Oh, does it give guts? I think it gives AOE guts. I'm glad I saved Kiara's thing. Yeah, okay, it gave uh, that guy guts. We do this. Aha, uh -huh. gotcha. <coughs> oh, we have to kill off the dead souls, don't we? We're not that far off from the, you know. Kiara is noble phantasm. I'm trying to talk, I can't. <laughs> it's been too long since I've done this. I've forgotten how to make conversation for five minutes. Let's focus this guy first, since he's not like one shot us, right? If he gets that off, I think it one shot Endman, or more or less. I mean, they're berserkers, so you know that's. Kind of what they do. I'm tired. But <laughs> I'm just David showed up. Dude's weird. I wonder who his servant is. It's a grand hold on, hold on. So it's not not a saber or caster. Oh no, hold on, what grand servants do we know? Uh King Hawson's the assassin. I mean, okay. This is the next loss, but I'm gonna say it. Orion is the archer, I believe. Uh, we have a caster, right? Was it Solomon? Was it Merlin? Or... Dang it. Can a doctor really accept his death at the hands of a violent patient? No, definitely not. Sclepius is making an escape. Shoot him. Prefer not to let him get away. Give him now he's our current priority tar target. Can you go after him? No way. I'm so exhausted I can barely move as it is. We still haven't recovered from the wounds Arjuna inflicted on us. Just have to call this one. No, get, get him. Good grief. Now that the battle is over, expect that the townspeople will be coming out of hiding soon. I just realized her... Is there not a back to her shirt? It's kind of weird. We have a lot of trouble to explain what just happened to them. I say we leave now. Sounds good to me. Why don't we just head back to your walled village? Deval, was it? Plan your next course of action on the way. You seem awfully pleased about all this. Do I? I don't think I was acting any different than usual. Definitely seem pleased, Mio Yanji. Uh, don't! Okay, you win. If you want to know about that stuff so badly, I'll tell you on the way. Let's just leave before the locals start throwing stones at us for assaulting an agent of God or something. You okay, Mashu? Uh, yes, I'm fine. Well, not fine, fine. Just as exhausted and hurt as everyone else is. I was just thinking about something else. Now that we face Arjuna directly, it's clear just how overwhelmingly powerful he is. Not just as a lone finder. I could tell he was on a completely different scale. Almost like he was competing with the ground itself to see who was stronger. Oh, but please don't misunderstand me, Master. I'm not just about to give up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, analytically speaking, that Arjuna is undoubtedly the most powerful god in this world. And the more I think about how we can hold our own against him, the more I come up blank. Even if we succeeded in defeating the local pollen and reducing his power, would it really make any difference? 
Oh. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure something out, you know. You're young, I'm sure you'll be fine. Okay, Master, should we start heading back? Our first order of business. Get Pepe to tell us his full name. Not you too, Mashi! <laughs> That's a new face, I think. <laughs> okay. It's chapter 11, then? We're more than halfway done. Well, maybe not quite word count-wise, but... Right around there. What's this one? Not a very long. And the next one's supposed to be pretty long, too. Not as long as the last chapter, so I'll probably do it in one go, though. People in the girl. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time with some more Fake Grand Order. Bye.